time's moving on, and Richard's keen to see something on a plate. So, Claire, how are you getting on? Yeah, good. I'm just waiting for those uh, pig trotters to, to set up in the fridge. Unfortunately, Richard has a tale of woe from the judgment chamber, and it doesn't help Claire's nerves. Do you know, I'd done this for one of the competitions. Yeah, I found that out. You know, it didn't go through. No, you don't. I was completely gutted. That's not doing it. <laughs> that doesn't make me very happy. I know. How do you think I felt? <laughs> yeah. And it gets even worse. I done a little carpaccio off the pig's uh, off the off the pig's feet. Did you? And then the hot ones on the top. That's what I'm doing as yeah, well. It's not, is yeah, it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> At least Danny finds it amusing. Richard decides it'd be better to move swiftly on, so he checks out the pig's ears. Let me set them in the fridge, press them nice and flat, and then we're just going to flour them. I'm actually going to put a little tiny like bit. Wrigley's of... chewing gum. Yeah, it is. The two chefs both have food for thought, but who does Richard think will cope with the pressure of the competition best? Yeah, well, Danny is, you know, he probably feels he's the underdog. Claire, but on the other hand, there's a lot to lose, you know. She represents, you know what I mean, the Gordon Ramsay, Royal Hospital Road, three Michelin stars. You know, there's more pressure on Claire. While he deliberates outside, the chefs are busy inside as everything's coming to a head. Danny finishes his soda files in hot butter and Claire rolls half the crabines in breadcrumbs for deep frying. Danny's soaked his chicken livers in buttermilk and now he's drying them ready for cooking. Claire's finishing her pig's trotters in two ways, cubes, deep fried in breadcrumbs, and thinly sliced. Danny can't resist a taste. But Richard's back and ready to stir things up again. So guys, you know, Danny, Claire, you know, a hundred people sit down dinner. Do you feel confident you can do this? Well, clearly you're a woman, you're very organized. You're, you think three weeks in advance, Claire, you know what I mean? Well, huh? this, this man is doing it on the moment, huh? Only one thing at a time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Claire's used to boisterous kitchens and coolly ignores Richard's digs. It's time to focus. Are you ready to plate, Danny? Yeah. First on Claire's plate are the thinly sliced crabines with dashes of egg and caper mayonnaise. She then adds the deep fried pig's trotters before dressing the plate with some salad leaves and capers. Danny's filling his soup bowls with barley, chicken and baby vegetables. All he needs to do now is pour on the hot chicken broth and then pop on the side his soda bread with buttery chicken livers. Both dishes look great, but Richard asks the essential question. But which one is the true taste of home? Oh, well, obviously mine. Goes about say, you know, it's full of chicken soup with some sodas. I don't know, I think my uh, pig's trotters are quite traditionally Irish, the crubines there. Yeah. I can't wait to get my jowls into it, yeah?